Warriors don't hop around like that. Warriors are focused. They're completely honed on the task at hand and they will complete that task. Men who jump around are weak. They're a jack of all trades and a master of none. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Man of War channel. Now, I wanna dive into this right now because it's been bothering the shit out of me really over the last couple of weeks. I received a couple of DMs from guys that have issues really committing, going all in, right? And their whole life, they've been procrastinators. And it was it was weird, two emails, um, and then right after that, two DMs from the same two guys. I don't know if they were brothers, cousins, but it seemed like within hours of each other, they had the, the same issue. And, and typically I'll get a few of those, but not like that back to back. But regardless, one of the biggest issues that we have in our society is not being all in in what we do. We're constantly jumping around from one thing to another, thinking that the grass is greener on the other side. As warrior-minded men, I'm gonna say this, warriors don't hop around like that. Warriors are focused. They're completely honed on the task at hand and they will complete that task. Men who jump around are weak. They're a jack of all trades and a master of none. They don't have the opportunity to grow. They don't have the opportunity to really get strong at whatever they're doing because they're constantly just jumping from one thing to another and they can't really build that stability. They can't build that foundation. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna backtrack a little bit, a story that I read the other day. And it's pretty fascinating because Steve Jobs, man, this guy was all in. All right, when he would be out on vacation, check this out, he would be calling his employees, his people around him, four or five times a day just to share ideas you know, that came to him. This guy was a true visionary. He was all in all the time. See, we have a, a tendency of thinking that, you know, we work our 40 hour week and that kind of puts us all in. The reality here is this, every day of your life, you should be all in for whatever you're trying to grow. You know, when you are so focused on moving on to another project or moving on to something else, you clearly lack the focus. So how do we build this focus? How do we sit here and we say, well, let me just focus on one thing at a time, because by the way, I'm gonna go back on this here, let me regress a little bit. It's been scientifically proven that multitasking sucks. You can't really accomplish high levels of anything when you're doing three or four things at the same time. Basically what you're doing is you're half-hearting things and you're just sending them out just to have them done. But we are big into pride, right? Meaning that we take pride on what we do. We have respect for what we do. We pay attention to detail. So as we grow as warrior-minded men, these principles of being prideful and paying attention to detail become our staple, become part of our life. When we deliver something, when we deliver a product, when we deliver teaching methodology, when we deliver ourselves we want to be at the highest of levels, right? We want to be perfect if we can get there. Now, obviously, there's no such thing as perfection, but as close to it as possible. When someone reads your work, if you're a student, man, they're going to know you put in the time. When you deliver a product, they're going to know you put in the time. When you go out there in the speaking engagement or when you're coaching, or when you're teaching, they're going to know you put in the time because you're going to dot all the I's and cross all the T's and deliver a great product. Now, with that said, it takes a tremendous amount of effort. It takes takes you being all in all the time. So what I'm gonna ask you to do here is to learn how to be all in. Start doing things small, right? Take a task that may take you an entire day to do and focus, completely focused. Have this laser-like focus on what you have to do. Block all outside environment. Listen, to write this book here, I had to hyper-focus and laser beam and block out all outside environment. If not, I would have never finished it. I had so many things going on around me, but I was able to lock in and be all in. Know that every day I was putting in four or five hours of writing for about three months there towards the end because it took me two and a half years to write this book. So whatever it is that you're doing in your life, start small. Take one step at a time. Take a task. Focus. Hyper focus on it. Block out. So whatever it is that you're doing in your life, take one step at a time. Block out all outside noise and focus on what you're doing grow from there. Once that task is achieved, boom, go on to the next one, go on to the next one, and so on. Make them bigger, larger, whatever it is. Eventually, you'll know what it means to be all in. All right, these 40-hour work weeks, 
They won't exist anymore. You'll be out there working every day, all in, even on your weekends, just like Steve Jobs, right? Thoughts came to him, inspiration came to him, and boom, he was laying it out on his people around him. But that's the way, man, a visionary lives like that. You know, so take little steps at a time, hyper-focus on what you're doing, accomplish your task, make sure that you have a good course of action to getting it done. And as you do these steps, as you progress, you'll be able to do bigger things and bigger things. Eventually, you'll be able to start building your own empire. That's right, building your own, own empire. What I mean by that is growing from where you are, moving to the next level, scaling to the next level. With that said, as warrior-minded men, we're about constant growth. We're about being all in all the time and getting the job done. Start implementing, embodying that mindset in your life and you will be changed forever. I can tell you that. All right, guys, listen, if you're really enjoying this content about the warrior cultures and about the warrior lifestyle, about mental toughness, spirituality connected with physicality, about really taking your game to that next level and being a better father, husband, leader, visionary, a man of action, I'm going to ask you to do two things for me. Leave me a comment below about how in your life, you've been all in and you've been able to accomplish something. The next thing that I want you to do for me is smash that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. It'll really mean a lot to us. All right, guys, until next time, God bless.